it's the energy and the vibe over everything else. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's really like the biggest thing that it comes down to. That's the, that's the biggest thing that the women pick up on when you're opening too. I heard you saying like, is it really as simple as, Hey, how's it going? It can be, you know, you could go in with, Hey, how's it going and get blown out. I could go in with, Hey, how's it going and end up pulling. Yeah. The difference is the vibe and the energy and what follows for the opener. You know what I'm saying? It's not like I have some amazing opener. Half of the opens I say are just like so basic. You know, even my observations are so basic, but it goes in with the right vibe and the right energy. And the other thing is not displaying so much interest in the girl, like the moment you open. So like a lot of the times if I throw out an observational statement or an observation, or even if I open, I don't like completely go up to the girl super squared up and right away say, Hey, I thought you were cute. What's up? You're going to get a lot of blowouts that way. Yeah. You just are, you know what I'm saying? I mean, if you're a good looking dude and you do it confidently, like you can, and, and you do five to 10 approaches a night, like you could definitely get success that way, which is cool. You know, I actually often tell a lot of guys that are at like that beginner intermediate level to do that because you need to get comfortable doing that. You need to be comfortable displaying some intent in a confident way, like, unapologetically almost. So I, I think at a certain level, that is a good mission to like go out and do, or even have that as a default mm -hmm. open, like a canned open line that you just have, if you can't think of anything else. Right. The other thing is like just making an observation, you know what I'm saying? And, and also the body language. So half the time I open, it's like over the shoulder or it's like to the side, or it's like, if I was walking through the crowd, I just like say something, right. I'm not yeah. just like squared up right in the middle of the group and i'm like gotcha. hey what's up i thought you were cute do you like me you know yeah there are times where that can work mm -hmm. but it's always calibrated it's always always calibrated so like if the girl's making eye contact with me or if as i'm walking up i i notice that she's like somewhat just open and receptive to like conversation yeah. you can calibrate in that moment to determine if you can g display a little bit more intent or if it needs to be a little bit more pulled back, you know, other times I may just be like, Oh, dance, dance, dance. Like that's my fuck open, you know, yeah. or like, Oh shit. What drink is that? That's my open. Okay. Gotcha. If I see that they're open and into the conversation, I can keep talking right away and maybe even display intent right away. If I see that they're a little closed off, I may have to not jump into the group as if I'm about to like be there for like 30 minutes and interview them. You know, I may just be like, what drink is that? She's not really that receptive. I'll be like, Oh no, I'm actually meeting my friends at the bar in like two minutes, but that shit looks like, so what is that? Or is that like a vodka Red Bull or what? Or, or whatever, dude, I'm just like making this shit up right now. But you could see, I use like a false time constraint, which is like, I was actually headed to the bathroom or I'm actually about to go meet my friends or I'm going to go do this thing. But really quickly, what is that? Or or I was actually headed over there, but I just noticed you have this vibe or this energy or this like demeanor about yourself. By throwing in that little bit of a, I was actually about to do this or I have to go do this, but I just yeah. noticed this, it actually like lowers the girl's guard a tiny bit because it's like, hey, I'm not just going to be here stuck to you for the next two hours interviewing you. And you need to politely reject me in order to get me to leave. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, it makes sense because it's like, she doesn't feel pressured into talking to you for, you know, X amount of time. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So. Exactly. So I like to use the false time constraint. And by the way, you, the, the beautiful thing about it is you don't need to actually leave to go do whatever you were talking about. It's just something you throw in there in the beginning of the interaction to let their guard down a little bit so they'll actually engage with you and give you 15 to 30 seconds of conversation. Okay. And then at some point I can either like body rock out of the set or I'm like turning away or they say something and I like kind of pivot away. Point being is I'm just not squared up, like just waiting for a response, asking a bunch of questions. Like I may lean in and say that thing. And I'm like, Oh, okay. That makes sense. I pivot back, take a step back. And then over the shoulder, I make another comment and they re-engage and then I'm back in. I think a lot of it is just the body language and the, the thing you're opening with is forcing the girl to make an instant decision about, do I want to talk to this guy? Do I not want to talk to this guy? You know, do I, like, cause the way a lot of you dudes open when you just fully squared up, displaying intent within the first one second, the girl's like, 
do I want to be with this guy tonight or do I not want to be with this guy tonight? Or do I even want to give this dude a chance because he clearly wants to, like, have sex with me, you know? Yeah. So the less of that you can display in the first five seconds, which is your body language, having a good vibe, too. Like, if I'm confident and, and just loose, it, it conveys a lot, too. If I'm stifled in my head, hey, what's up? I thought you were cute. It's just forcing the girl to instantly make a decision about me. You know what I'm saying? And by the way, there are times where I do just go straight up to the girl. There really are. I'm not saying like you never have to do that, but it's always kind of calculated and, and it depends on where I'm at. And the one other thing I wanted to tell you is that you may not have the vibe and the energy right away. After every interaction, I'm analyzing myself in real time. And I try to make a, a, a tweak before I jump into the next interaction, right? So I'll go in, I'll be like, Dude, like, I got to loosen up. That was so whack. Oh, my God. I'm, like, way too stiff. Yeah. Okay? And I'll, like, literally, I'll analyze myself. Because I know when I'm loose, my voice is just more loose. It Typically, there's, like, a bigger dynamic vocal range to my voice when I'm loose. I'm, like, just be like, yo, what's up? And I'm not just, like, hey, what's up? I thought you were cute. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Oh, okay. Tell me more about... Interactions over. I'm like, dude, that was fucking whack. Okay, hold on. Got to <laughs> loosen up, right? And I'll literally like coach myself in real time. Okay, for anybody that's like at least halfway through the program, or if you've had interactions before where you've been successful with women, you know what the right vibe feels like. You know when you're loose. You know when you're stifled. So right after every interaction, you should be like, what do I need to do more of in the very next interaction that I can tweak right in this second? Okay, typically for me, it's being a little bit more loose. I remember there were points where my one sticking point was like, I would just have like 10, 15 minute interactions and I would walk away and I'd be like, dude, I never displayed any intent. Like, what the fuck is that? That was like a friendly conversation to nowhere. Next interaction, I need to display some intent at some point. I could have said this. I could have been like this. I could have touched her more. Okay, so like, depends on where your sticking point is, but you guys want to do as much as you can to just coach yourself in real time after each interaction, which is why if you're going out for the night, it may take you five to 10 interactions just to even get yourself to a nice, good flow, good social flow to get yourself to a point where you can actually connect with a girl after that. Sometimes it doesn't, you know, depends on what was going on in your day and in your week, but sometimes it may take a while. Other times, I walk in and I'm just like in that, it's just one of those days where I'm just, it's just on right away. So the analysis comes into play as well. Like you need to realize like, okay, well, I went in and open, like what was her reaction? It didn't hook. Well, okay, that probably means like I, I came in like pretty unengaging or I just displayed too much intent right away or I just wasn't loose enough or I didn't engage the friends enough or whatever it was, you need to make that evaluation. Um, does, does all that make sense? Or do you have any questions about any of that or any, or any thoughts about that? Yeah, no, a hundred percent. It makes sense. I mean, my biggest thing was probably my energy. My energy wasn't there. I wasn't like very, you know, upbeat and just like, I, like I can just look at myself, you know, the, the night that I went out, I, I just wasn't smiling enough. The eye contact wasn't there. And I was just like picking at questions, you know, it was mm -hmm. just question after question to keep the conversation going. So yep. Yeah. What you need to do is you, instead of analyzing it at the end of the night, you can correct yourself right after the interactions over. You should know I fucked up here. I fucked up here. I fucked up here. I need to do more of this next set. Let's go make those tweaks. Okay. You do that enough. That's how you'll be able to like go from a horrible night to like on fire. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And by the way, if you want to work with me personally to implement any of the techniques in this video to become more socially confident, get more women in your life, build a bigger social circle, and really just dominate life in any aspect socially, I can help you with that. I'm the guy for that, okay? Been doing this for a long time. I've transformed myself going from a video game nerd loser to becoming one of the top guys in the industry with this stuff, okay? So if you're interested in working with me personally, click the link below, click the link in the description, fill out the application, and we will be contacting you to discuss further details. Until next time, Coach Kyle, signing out. Peace.